Hey, and welcome to this tutorial. In this one, I'm going to be going over how to create 3D models out of your SVG files. The SVG file format is based on XML and stands for Scalable Vector Graphics. So as the name suggests, it's scalable. It's used to display a bunch of different types of graphics on the web, but we can also use these files to quickly create models of our logos and other designs for 3D printing or production. Notice how if I go up to create SVG, it's grayed out. If it's grayed out for you too, then all you're going to need to do is go into the plugins manager and enable type.mll. Okay, cool. So now we're set up, uh, we can actually go to create SVG like so. And then heading over to the attribute editor, um, we can actually just find the SVG menu and navigate down to where it says import. Click the little file icon. And we can just navigate to where our SVG file is saved. And there you go, super easy. As you can see, this tool is pretty powerful and provides results super quickly. It's creating an end gone here on either side, which if you want to 3D print this, you could probably get away with just triangulating and you'd be all good to go. But as I'm going to be subdividing this mesh, um, I'm just gonna do some quick cleanup. Okay, cool. So that was obviously sped up, but I hope you sort of get the gist of what I was doing. It's not perfect, and I'm pretty sure there's an end gone in there somewhere. Obviously, if I was actually going to use this mesh, I'd have put a lot more care and attention into it. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I think that's okay. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please consider hitting those like and subscribe buttons. It's always appreciated. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.